Okay, good evening and welcome to Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. I'm Paul Way, your commentator for this third game with Angel of Death and Boxeroo versus Regile and Butterhawk. We've, we're one game even in this best of three um, on the Nectatus Nectatus Twin Maidens, or however it's pronounced. Um, <coughs> I've already got a, a move marker pinged there. Uh, we have Butterhawk on Aeon and Regile on Cybron versus Boxeroo in Cybron and Angel of Death in UEF. So, no Seraphim, uh, not uh, an unreasonable choice on this map. Got couple of early engineer sent out to get that little further away. Um, looks like they've got a bit of reclaim to do before the uh, next engineer can come down and give him a hand. Um, might go up to plus one speed just to get things going here. Uh, and we've got a bit of uh, assistance on uh, it just looks like a bad move order. So where are we going? We're going off around probably to see if they can um, pick up some engineers exploring. Um, likewise, we've got a, a tank and a scout there. Um, an interesting alternative given that the rest of the um, the Team 2 here has gone for a um, just the regular light assault bot and that doesn't fare very well. Um, there's our Mantis combo uh, in preparation for an, a... Yep, it's going out to see, to secure um, that next set of mixes there. And this group has had an early win, so it's coming around the back of the base to try and pick up some engineers, and I think it's going to probably manage it, because I doubt that Butterhawk has managed to scout that. Um, the engineer there will have noticed it, so that's going to be spotted at least. Let's see what Butterhawk can see there, and yep, he's got radar up, so you can see. And interesting, he's not going um, Angel of Death isn't going into the back of um, Butterhawk's base, he's going into Regile's base, so he's going to pick off an a, a, um, uh, an NG there before the tank gets eventually destroyed. Commander under attack. Up the commander up the side here, and it's going to run into a uh, another commander. Um, a bit better health, um, and uh, but it can probably get a few easy kills on um, invading units there. And he's got that commander support. Um, got, got a point defense going up, but he's got the commander support for any um, um, invading play there. Likewise, Angel of Death. Sorry, Regile's put pushed up here. Uh, I don't know if he's spotted Boxeroo. Let's see what Regile can see. So, yep, he's spotted Boxeroo there. And um, so he's building up his forces. Um, finally getting that third factory online. Um, we've got some good bomber play out now. Um, doing a fairly good job against those troops, but it looks like they've got a few anti-air in the mix and that bomber goes down, unfortunately off the map, so no chance for reclaim there. We've got a um, bit of a run by attempting here and looks like um, block, sorry, Butterhawk is going to be blocked by the terrain. He's sent off his set of auroras to uh, catch up with them. 
Um, but we've got a bit more of a concerted action here. Um, looks like Boxer's going to retreat a bit until he can get some reinforcements. Can he get them in time? No, looks like uh, a Regile has pulled back and is going to try and send some around, but meantime he's sent some um, artillery in to see if he can dislodge Boxer there. Um, that plus the um, the commander might do a good job, but he's got a, a point defence up on that side. Um, so we're pretty much tra trading shots at this point. Um, Angel of Death has been spotted and he's going to be um, attacked fairly quickly. Um, here's a good question of whether that central area there is in any way useful. Um, does it really kind of serve as a, as a distraction? Because there's certainly no wrecks um, or um, mass extractors there. Uh, and in fact the mass extractors are pretty much around the periphery here. So that really kind of just gives you a more of a central gateway than any real advantage. Butterhawk has the gun range uh, enhancement. And looks like um, Boxer has lost that... Um, I didn't get the the, um, the land factory together completely before the uh, engineers got killed, so that'll probably be picked off by that Medusa there. Now we've got a push over here for Butterhawk, um, with using the range to good effect to take out that um, that point defence. Um, Boxer has completed his stealth, getting a bit of repair there. Um, we'll see what Regile can see, because he can't see the commander anymore. Um, and he probably knows it's there, because he's seen... Yep, he can see bits of it as soon as the they come into range of the um, commander's omnivision. So we've got Angel of Death being pushed back here. Um, with a reasonable force of auroras, but I think they're going to do a lot more damage. I think Angel of Death's m made a bit of a mistake trying to retreat sideways there rather than um, letting his uh, being um, defending his uh, territory because, yep, um, there's Butterhawk pushing straight into his base. Very little on um, the uh, attacking force there got the speed and range, the Zephyr upgrade coming in. Uh, can um, Boxeru push Regile to... Yes, he's pushed him to abort. That is got enough um, troops around to make it very difficult to maintain that. We've got... Um, not a lot of troops coming through here for a, for Regile, um, so he's probably going to lose a lot of that, and Boxeru is only going to strengthen his uh, defence there, but what are we going to see over here? Butterhawk is pushing in on um, Angel of Death's base. Uh, meanwhile, Angel of Death, Death is having a hard time getting back to where he needs to be. Um, Regile has retreated back to um, lick his wounds and try to get some reclaim. There's a good field there. Um, Angel of Death has uh, retreated further and uh, Butterhawk is using that range on the commander to excellent effect to um, pick off the um, auto gun there. We've got Boxer going for the speed and range for the uh, the um, Cyber and Commando. He's going to have a bit of a problem, I think, with economy there. Uh, he's looks like he's balancing it pretty well, actually. And that plus the stealth is going to make that that commander very hard to move. Um, that's 
let's see how they go. We've got a few more troops coming in here to try and dislodge things, but they've kind of concentrated on this central area, and I think they've realised that this stealthed gun commander there really needs to be moved out, or at least get him to... Yes, he's uh, abandoned that... Um, that upgrade, that would have been pretty, uh, that's a bit of a loss for Boxer there. Boxer's also been pretty well targeted, so they've got Boxer. Uh, let's see what they can do about Angel of Death. Um, Butterhawk moving in with his, his very, very good force there. It looks like he's going to be able to clean up uh, all that side. Boxer says, good game. Um, do we have, nope, looks like Butterhawk manages to kill off Angel of Death and it's a pretty quick game there, um, just under 30, just over 13 minutes. Um, that's pretty good play all round. I'd say Angel of Death needed to think more about defending that side. Um, Boxaroo had a pretty strong position here. Um, maybe he went for the gun upgrade a little too early without being sure of the support why, or too far forward and maybe need to, needed to retreat a bit back. Uh, but the stealth was a really nice touch, so that's good game all round, and thanks for watching.